Hello and welcome back again to Extra Stars Academy. My name is Esther and today we will be looking at vocabulary development and also we're going to have a good laugh. Today we are looking at a topic that, that shows the funny side of the English language and our topic today is oxymoron. Oxymoron. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and press the bell icon for notification on more of our videos and also i want you to follow me on other social media platforms the name is extra stars academy okay so let's look at the topic oxymoron an oxymoron an oxymoron is a figure of speech that has two contradictory or opposite words appearing side by side so when you see two figures of speech that has two contradictory words two opposite words appearing side by side in English it is an oxymoron it's a combination of two words that seem to be opposite of each other Writers and poets have used these for centuries as a literary device to describe lives inherent conflicts. In speech, oxymoron can lead to a sense of humor, irony, or even sarcasm. We can also use them regularly in phrases and sentences. So we're going to have a good laugh today. We're going to see the funny side of the language, of the English language. And let's see how ironical it is to have two opposite words side by side contradicting, contradicting themselves. Okay, but what is the origin of the word oxymoron? And oxy, the oxymoron came from the Greek word. So it, it's a Greek word. You have two words, oxus and moros. Oxus and moros. Oxus means sharp in Greek and moros, moros means Dull. So over time, it's changed from oxymoron, you have oxymoron. Now the meaning of oxymoron itself is contradictory because sharp and dull together, how is that possible? If you have a sharp knife, you can't have the knife again as dull. You can't have a knife and say, oh, this knife is sharp dull. Is it possible? No. A knife can either be sharp or dull. Sharp or dull, not sharp dull. You can't have that. So the word oxymoron is itself oxymoronic. Oxymoronic is adjective. You're qualifying the word. Okay, so we have 24 oxymoronic words on the board contradicting themselves. So what we'll do in this class is we review the 24 word, um, um, oxymorons on the board. I'll look at them one after the other but first of all we'll read them we'll go through them then I will explain how they contradict themselves now if you're learning English as a second language you might be confused by these figures of speech but once you become fluent in the language it's easy to recognize oxymorons for the figures of speech they really are and it adds a kind of humor to your language so once in a while use them okay so let's look at some examples of them of oxymorons and we'll also use them in everyday writing everyday speech we'll see how they're used okay so let's begin i'll go through them and you can repeat after me only choice whole peace alone together falsely true completely unfinished exact estimates awfully pretty found missing old news pretty ugly jumbo shrimp terribly good smaller half organized mess 
live recording friendly fights minor crisis crash landing deafening silence sad smile small crowd true fiction original copy and same difference so we've run through we've gone through the 24 oxymorons we have today now let's look at them deeply and i'll explain and we'll see how they are oxymorons and how they contradict themselves okay only choice only means one that's all you have no other just that you just have that and choice means you have more than one so is it possible to have one and more than one at the same time no you either have one only or you have choice or you have options you can choose from so it's contradictory only choice okay next we have whole piece whole means everything a whole piece of cake whole piece of bread oh a whole something something everything you have a whole and peace means a little bit so is it possible to have everything and a bit you either have everything you either finish the whole food or you just take a bit a piece so having whole and peace together in a sentence is oxymoronic it contradicts okay I hope you're getting it the next we have alone together alone means you're all by yourself there is no one with you you're alone you're the only one there wherever you are and together means you're with someone you're not alone you're with someone you're together with people so is it possible to be on your own and still be with people is it possible to be alone by yourself and be with people or be with someone it's not possible so you are either alone or you're together with someone so having alone together in a sentence is contradictory i hope you're finding it funny english is funny next we have falsely true <laughs> false means it's not true it is false you know you have a question in exam and you're like choose one option true or false so you either choose the true or you choose the false you can't have true false in a sentence neither can you have false true or false truth or falsely true it's contradictory it's either positive or negative you can't say something is false and at the same time it is true the news is falsely true how can it be falsely true it's funny okay the next we have is completely unfinished completely is you're done you're through you're through with whatever you're doing it's you're at the end of it you finished it it's complete and unfinished means you're not through you're either just beginning or you're halfway well you're not at the end you're not through you're not completely finished so having completely unfinished in a sentence is oxymoronic unfinished means you're not finished and completely means you're complete so can you say the work is completely unfinished no it is unfinished so just say it like that don't say completely unfinished but that's a phrase it's a phrase in english and it's oxymoronic i hope you're getting it the next we have is exact estimates exact means that's the price that is it that's the way it is you can't change it and estimates means you're trying to get an exact idea but you're not sure so if you go to the supermarket and you want to buy an item and you ask for the price what's what's uh, um, what price how much is it and the seller can say it is 2500 naira that's an exact price okay now if the seller says i think it's between 
he or she is not sure. So he's trying to give you an estimate. That's an estimate when you're not sure. So you can't have the price and still estimate the price at the same time. So you can't have exact and estimate in a sentence in English, but you have it as a phrase, exact estimate. I'm giving you the exact estimate. How can you tell me it's exact estimate? It is either the exact price or it is an estimate of the price. Choose one. That's oxymoronic. The next one we have is awfully pretty. Hmm. Awfully means something that is an eye so that is ugly, that is not pretty, that is that is not good to behold, that you don't want to see, it's awful, it is yuck, it is, but pretty is something that is beautiful, that you want to see all the time, that you like. So when you say something is awfully pretty, are you trying to say the thing is bad or it is good, or what are you trying to say? Awfully pretty, awful, pretty, awful, at the same time in the sentence, it contradicts. So that's what oxymoron is about. Combination of two opposite words in a sentence. Awfully pretty. Next we have found missing. Can something be found and still be missing at the same time? Found missing. The girl was found missing. If she is missing, she will not be found. If she has been found, she's no longer missing. So why would we say he was found missing so if someone is kidnapped and reported to the police station and is aired on the news you, you hear things like the girl was found missing she was found missing is she missing or she's she has been found it's contradictory you have two words contradicting themselves found and missing your pen is either found or it is missing found missing Next we have old news. Old is something that is still, it's no longer in vogue, it is, it is past, it's no longer raining. News is from the word new, something new, something trendy, something current, okay? So when you say old news, what does it mean? Is an old news, is that old, it is past, news, current, it is past, current, it is, is it still trending? Is it still... It, what, it, what is it? English is funny, but it's a phrase. It's oxymoronic. Old news. Another we have is pretty ugly. Can someone be pretty and ugly at the same time? Or can something be pretty and ugly at the same time? It's pretty, beautiful and ugly. You know what it means? Because so can someone or something be pretty and still be ugly? Now, learners of this language, learners of the English language, you might be confused, but this is a phrase, a figure of speech in English that is being used all the time. So once you add it to your conversation or to your writing, it adds some sense of humor or sarcasm or even irony. It spices up your sentence. So don't be confused. It is oxymoronic. Another word, um, phrase we have is jumbo shrimp. Jumbo, big, something very big, something very large, something big, yeah. And shrimp, yes, the kind of fish, very small, something small. So shrimp means small. So if you have a big small, can you have a jumbo shrimp? Does it mean it's a it's bigger small jumbo shrimp? Contradictory. Jumbo means big and shrimp means small. So how can you place jumbo shrimp together in a sentence? It is oxymoronic. Another we have is terribly good. The girl is terribly good. Is she terrible or is she good? You choose one. Terribly means something that is bad, that is not good. Yes, it's opposite of the word good. So having terrible or terribly and good together in a sentence is oxymoronic English is funny okay we've gone through 12 let's look at another 12 smaller half smaller half small something small a tiny bit something small okay and half means you you okay if I have um, 
and I have an orange here. Okay, imagine you have an orange and you have to cut the orange in half. It means the two sides. Okay, let's use my marker. Now I have this marker. I want to divide the marker in two. It means the two sides will be equal. If it's in half, the two sides will be equal. Half means both sides are equal. So no side is smaller, no side is larger. So how can you get a smaller half? There is nothing like smaller half. A half means both sides are equal. But oxymoronically, you have smaller half. Smaller half. Half means the two sides are equal. Small means one side is smaller. So how can you combine small and half together in a sentence? It's oxymoronic. I hope you're getting a good laugh. <laughs> okay, the next we have is organized mess. Mm. Organized, everything is in place. Everything is okay. The way it is, it is organized. Or the party is going on smoothly. The guests are all seated. Everywhere is calm and organized. Everywhere is like, you understand? Then mess means everywhere is rowdy. Or your room is untidy. So is it possible for your room to be organized and still be messy? Is it possible for the party to be organized and still be in a mess? That's oxymoronic, organized mess. Hmm. Next, we have live recording. Live means something you're doing at the moment. You, it's not recorded. Now, recording means you've done it before in the past. You've recorded it. Now, is it possible to be doing something at present and having it being recorded, live recording? How is that possible? It is oxymoronic that English you have two opposite words coming together. Okay, we have this next one, friendly fight. Friends don't fight. So friendly means you have a friend, both of your friends, you're not quarreling, you are playing together, doing everything together. Then fight, you're quarreling, you are fighting, you are insulting or whatever you're doing to yourselves. Now, friendly fight. How can you have a friendly fight? It's either you are friends or you're fighting. It's either your friends or your enemies. So you choose one. But we have a phrase, friendly fight. Figure of speech. Friendly fight. It's oxymoronic. Oxymoronic. And that's why English is a funny language. Now, the next we have is minor crisis. Minor means something small you can handle you can handle it it doesn't go on beyond measure now crisis means a serious problem something very important minor it is not important i can i can do it later it's not something urgent crisis is urgent it is important something that needs to be handled now so how can you have something that is unimportant and have something important together in a sentence minor and crisis minor crisis that's oxymoronic. You have two words contradicting themselves. I hope you're getting a good laugh. Next, we have crash landing. Now, crash means when something like a plane is about to land, but it accidentally crashed. <laughs> landing, it went smoothly and landed safely. It did not crash. Okay, so having crash and landing together, it didn't land safely, it crashed. Or did it land safely and you're just using crash? It's contradictory. Crash, landing. Oxymoronic. Okay, deafening silence. Yes, I just kept quiet. I was just silent. Hope my silence was deafening. Hope you covered your ears so you wouldn't hear my silence because it was deafening. How can silence be deafening? Deafening means the, the noise is too loud or the music is too loud. Whatever it is, it's too loud for your ears and you had to close your ears or leave the environment because of the noise. The noise it's too much and you can't take it. It is deafening. Something deafening, something that can, um, that is not good for your ears. Now, silence. 
everywhere is quiet. You're not saying anything. So how can a silence be deafening? How can my silence now be deafening? Was it deafening? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> okay, funny English. The next we have is a sad smile. Sad smile. Sad, you're not happy. You're not happy. Something happened and you're frowning. I'm giving a smile. Smile, you're happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, how can you be sad and give a happy smile? Or could it be <laughs> the smile is not from your heart? That's a sad smile. Yes, you had to force out the smile. It's not really from your heart because you're not happy. Or you just have to laugh or you just have to give a smile so sad and smile coming together is oxymoronic mm. okay i hope you're having a good laugh then let's look at the next one small crowd small means a very little number like two three four very small something you can handle you can manage now a crowd means a large number of people in a party you have a crowd a large number of people like even if it's 30, 30 is a crowd. Okay, they say three is a crowd. So you can't have a small crowd. You can say the number of people in, in the crowd are like 20 or 10. But you can't say small crowd. You can't say it's a small crowd. It's a small crowd. Crowd is a crowd. Three is a crowd. So crowd is a crowd. Four crowd. Five crowd. So you can't have a small crowd. Small means people you can manage then crowd 30 that's not a small crowd that is a crowd because the people there are not even comfortable so that's a crowd so having a small crowd it's contradictory then we have true fiction oh true is something real something not faked it is you didn't fake it it's genuine it's real then fiction is something not true it's not real it didn't happen true happened true something that happened yes but fiction did not happen it's not real it's, it's either you imagined it or you just got it from wherever it's not true so having a true fiction mm, what does it mean is it true or is it a fiction true fiction true fiction it's oxymoronic it's, I, it's supposed to either be true or a fiction. So true fiction is contradictory. Mm. We have original copy. Original copy. You have a certificate and that's the original. Yes, it's not a copy. It's the original because you have just one. Original means you have one. That's Original is always one. You can't have two originals. If you have two certificates that are the same, one must be the original the other is a photocopy so it's either it's an original or the photocopy so saying an original copy no it's either original or photocopy an original cannot be a photocopy and a photocopy cannot be an original you can say i have a copy i had the original copy <laughs> that means you have the original you have the original you don't have the photocopy i have the original so having original copy in a sentence is oxymoronic the last we have is same difference. Same difference. We are the same. Meaning, you have the same. You have two things doing the same. They look alike. Then having difference again. You can have two items that look alike. Say, ah, they're the same. I saw it. They're the same. Then, the same items being different. It's oxymoronic. Opposite of same is different. So having same difference in a sentence is contradictory. Contradictory. Oof. English is funny. Now, these oxymoronic phrases help us because it adds humor, like I said. It, it adds a sense of humor, a sense of irony and sarcasm to our conversation and writing. And I told you, writers and, point, and poets, they use this for centuries as a literary device so you can think of adding it to your conversation okay we've gone through these 24 oxymoronic phrases now let's look at how we can use them in everyday writing or conversation i'll give you 10 sentences of how they are being used in sent in conversation and 
we'll see it okay the first sentence is the the only choice was to visit the lady the only choice was to visit the lady only choice the choice was to visit the lady only that's a sentence oxymoronic the only choice was to visit the lady okay another sentence is Ariel ate the whole piece of cake Ariel ate the whole piece of cake now Ariel either ate the whole cake or she ate the piece but eating the whole piece <laughs> it's oxymoronic or maybe there was a piece out and she ate the whole piece Okay, but it adds sense of humor to the sentence. Okay, sentence number three. The new friends enjoyed being alone together. The new friends enjoyed being alone together. Alone together. Alone together. Alone you're by yourself together. They enjoyed being together. Oxymoron. Enjoyed being alone together. So alone together there is oxymoronic that's the oxymoron alone together i hope you're getting it okay so sentence number four the carpenter left the bench completely unfinished the carpenter left the bench completely unfinished that means he didn't finish making the bench it he left the bench completely unfinished the next sentence my sister and I had a friendly fight. My sister and I had a friendly fight. Is a fight friendly? Do you have some such things as friendly fight? You, you fought, right? So it's not friendly. Okay, my sister and I had a friendly fight. That's oxymoronic. Next sentence. You look awfully pretty in that dress. You look awfully pretty in that dress. Am I awful? No, I'm not. Okay. You look awfully pretty in that dress. That's oxymoronic. Then we have true fiction is my favorite genre to read. True, something that is real, and fiction, it's unreal. Having it together in the sentence is oxymoronic. True fiction is my favorite genre to read. <laughs> okay. Another sentence is it is considered a false truth. That a broken mirror means bad luck. It is considered a false truth. Is it false or true? It is considered a false truth that a broken mirror means bad luck. So false truth in the sentence is oxymoron. False truth. Oxymoron. So the sentence has an oxymoron. And if you are asked to identify, it is false truth. Contradicts opposites in a sentence. Another sentence is... Tony thinks of his garage as an organized mess. Tony thinks of his garage as an organized mess. Having organized and having mess together in a sentence is oxymoronic. Organized mess. It's either the garage is organized or it's in a mess. But having it together in a sentence is oxymoronic. Okay, the last sentence is it was a minor crisis. Minor and crisis. Can a crisis be minor? It was a minor crisis. That is oxymoronic. Okay, we've looked at 24 oxymorons and how to use them in sentences. So you can use them regularly in phrases and sentences, like I said, to add humor, to add sarcasm, to add irony to your conversation. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson like I did. Mm. I just saw that English is a funny language and it's good once in a while to laugh. So we just laughed in today's lesson and I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for notification on more videos. Do well to share this video and to meet again same time next week. Do stay safe and always have a good laugh. Bye.
Thank you.